Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to approach this question, we first need to understand what a motor unit is. If you look at this diagram, you'll notice that we have a motor neuron that is sending signals to various myocytes. We also call myocytes muscle fibers. Here's an individual muscle fiber, here's an individual muscle fiber, so on and so forth. You get the idea. And the muscle fibers that we consider to be part of a motor unit are all being signaled to by the same neuron. For instance, this yellow neuron that we see in the image is signaling to this muscle fiber here. See, it has two branches going to this same muscle fiber. And then these branches, they appear to be going to this muscle fiber. And this branch up here seems to be signaling to both these muscle fibers. And so it seems to me, based on this diagram, that there are four muscle fibers in this motor unit. Now, in order to understand which muscle fibers are going to be activated when our motor neuron receives an action potential, we really need to understand what an action potential is. And an action potential is often referred to as an all or none signal. That means that if we get an action potential at the start of our neuron, that action potential is not going to weaken but it's gonna carry through the entire neuron. It's gonna carry through all these branches with the exact same strength that it started with. For that reason, every single muscle fiber that is receiving a signal from this motor neuron is going to contract, no matter what. That is exactly how a signal works that comes from a motor neuron. It's an all or none signal, so every single muscle fiber that is receiving a signal from that motor neuron is going to contract. Now let's take another look at this question. It says, when a lower motor neuron fires an action potential, how many skeletal muscle cells in that motor unit contract? Answer A, one. We know that's not true. We saw that four muscle fibers contracted. And some, no, we said all of them will contract. All of the muscle fibers in that motor unit are going to contract. Therefore, answer choice C is the correct answer. And as we talked about, action potentials are all or none signals. And so every single time an action potential is fired by that motor neuron, all four muscle fibers are going to contract. For that reason, it doesn't depend. It's always going to be the same. If you liked today's question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to mac maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.